Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. Today we're going to talk about becoming an Amazon affiliate. And there are a number of reasons why many people start as an Amazon affiliate. So the first is that it's super easy to become an affiliate. You just sign up. They don't require high, you know, follower counts anywhere. You can just sign up, start sharing affiliate links once you get approved. The nice thing about being an Amazon affiliate is no matter what anybody buys, you get to get that commission. So when we look at my Amazon affiliate stats, you'll see that I'm getting in a commission, not just from things that I recommend, um, but also from things that people purchase on Amazon in addition to whatever I recommended, right? So the other day we saw that somebody bought a, you know, they bought disc bound planners, but they also bought brushes. So I promote disc bound planners, but I don't promote brushes or vitamins, things like that. So what happens is no matter what they buy on Amazon, you get a commission for that if your click is the reason they were on Amazon. Now, that only applies to the next 24 hours. So Amazon has the shortest cookie tracking of any of the affiliate programs. So you can only get credit for those sales for the next 24 hours. And the commission price is very low. It's 1% to 3% right now. For most items, you can get bounties that are higher and things like that. But in general, you know that you're going to get about 1% to 3% of any referral that you make to Amazon. That doesn't mean that I don't suggest starting there. It does mean that there's going to be other networks that I recommend, especially as you get more experienced. But today we're going to talk about how to promote things on Amazon the safe and legal way. So first we're going to start with this. And I'm going to, um, I found this really cool craft apron and I'm going to share this link. So the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to Google Chrome and you wanna get the Site Stripe plugin, right? And so you can just search on Google Site Stripe plugin Chrome, right? And then it'll give you a link you add it. So if I want to get a text link, here is my text link to share this product, this wicked cute um, little Fox product. Now, we need to talk about where you can share Amazon links. You can share them anywhere publicly. So you can share them on your Facebook page, business page, not a group. A group is private, a business page, not a profile, a profile the terms of service of Facebook say that you can't do commerce on your profile. So a business page, you can share it on Instagram, you can share it on Pinterest, you can share it in a YouTube video, you can share it on your blog. So you can share that, that link anywhere publicly. So I'm gonna say sick of getting all my clothes ruined. Getting me a cute apron. Okay, now I have to do a disclosure. I need to say that this is an ad. And we're going to talk about disclosures for Amazon a little bit more later. But you want to say ad, you want to say affiliate link, you want to say promo, you want to say something. So we're going to come back here. We're going to say we're going to get this link. We're going to come here and we're going to post it. Okay, it's thinking, there we go, there's my cute thing, and then I can post this, and that's totally legal. Somebody may see that and get excited. The second way that I could share this is if I did a native shopping ad, okay? And this is this kind of cute little thing, and then this is gonna give you ad code. Now this only works on your own website. So for here, the first thing I wanna do is I want to, um, I have a Amazon disclosure saved there, right? So I put that right in my blog post 
and then I'm going to say custom HTML. And you can do this in Wix. You can do this in um, uh, Squarespace. You can do this in WordPress, any of those. And then there's a cute little ad for that. That's how you can do that. The third way that you can do it is by joining the influencers program and say, so I'm in my Amazon associate account. You can go to your influencers and you can make yourself a little store on Amazon. Now, when I say make a store on Amazon, this is not you selling your own products. This is you making a store of things you recommend. So for me, this is my junk journals and magazine collage store. And I put all these things here and now I can share this store. And this is the nice thing. You don't have to worry as much about where to share this. You can share this anywhere, right? So you can share this list with your um, email, right? I thought you might be interested in this on Amazon. You don't have to have all the disclaimers that are required everywhere because this is not a, um, you're not recommending an affiliate product. It's the same as having a blog post. If you have a blog post with this in, right? I don't have to put a disclaimer when I post this blog post to Facebook because it's a blog post, right? So that kind of eliminates a little bit of some of what that friction could be. Now let's talk about your disclosures that you need to put on your Amazon um, links. You need to have somewhere an overall one that says, as an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. And then you need to have a clear disclosure that could be as simple as paid link, like just paid link, add commissions earned. So remember on here, for our um, post that we did with the apron, I put hashtag ad so people know that it's an ad, right? That I'm getting a commission from it. And right there. And a couple things about this. As an affiliate, sometimes you can feel like, oh my gosh, nobody's going to click my link if it says an ad. But if you're a reputable affiliate, if you are somebody who truly promotes things that they believe in, then you can absolutely put ad and people will click. I've shown you some of my results and I have disclosures everywhere because not only does Amazon say that we have to disclose, but the Federal Trade Commission of the United States says we have to disclose. So you always want to make sure that people know that there's a chance that you could earn a commission from that ad. The nice thing about having a storefront is you can even email this out, right? You could even email, share this list, and email it to your people. So I think that the storefront is probably, if you can get that, I think you may have to have a little bit more, um, like you may have to have a bigger Facebook page or a bigger Amazon or a bigger um, YouTube account. I can't remember. I got this a long time ago. So... Hopefully that helps get you started with Amazon. We'll talk tomorrow about share a sale, which is even cooler because Amazon pays between one and 3% currently. And the other kind of affiliate networks pay from 10% to 50%. Some even pay 100%. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.